Welcome to this Avanti video, where we'll take a look at how application controlled trusted ownership can help to simplify your whitelisting needs and is the first step in blocking untrusted software which will make your organisation more secure. Straight out of the box, application control can detect user introduced software such as games and unlicensed products, as well as inadvertently introduce malware and viruses, which can all be immediately blocked and allows you to discover all the software your users have been using without your IT department's knowledge or consent. To help you start to understand trusted ownership, we'll take a look at the following. Why do I need trusted ownership? What is trusted ownership? And how do I get started with trusted ownership? Other videos will then be available to drill down into more detail. So why do you need trusted ownership? To protect your environment, Block untrusted software such as malware, games and unlicensed software. You'll be protected against zero day threats. Any unknown malware will be blocked immediately. To protect your time. Low maintenance, no lengthy whitelist to create and maintain. The base configuration is empty, so you can get up and running quickly. To protect your costs. Limit the installed applications to eliminate the user running unlicensed products. So what is trusted ownership? Trusted ownership is a way application control can determine whether a file is allowed to run. It does this by looking at the file ownership. On Microsoft Windows, each file has an owner and that is what is used to determine whether a file is allowed to run. Any user introduced software is blocked by default. Any admin or trusted deployment system introduced software is trusted and allowed by default. Application control comes with a default list of trusted owners seen here. It is highly recommended not to add users to this list because it will weaken protection. If the user that owns the file is not on the trusted owners list, then running the file is denied. So for example, a user downloads a file from the internet, but when they try to run it, access is denied. This is because they are the owner, but they are not on the trusted owners list. So how do you get started with trusted ownership? Trusted ownership comes ready to use out of the box. The architecture is simple. You need a server to install the AC console so you can edit the configuration and the computers that you want to manage. These endpoints will need the AC agent installing on them and then they will be ready for the configuration to be pushed out to them. Once the agent and configuration are on the endpoint, they become your managed machines. Application control event capture takes place on the managed machines whenever the users do something, so for example running or installing a new application. These events can be configured to be raised locally or sent back up to the server for viewing centrally. This helps you to discover what your users are doing. From this feedback, you can then update your configuration and redeploy it. Repeat the auditing process to validate new configuration rules. So hopefully now you understand why you might want trusted ownership, what trusted ownership is and how to start using it. Thank you for watching and please visit our YouTube channel to view further videos.